long ago, when dueling was still young. An archetype was created, coded in ancient ritual, and bathed in sacrifice. These ancient warriors, known as gladiators, participated in duels to entertain the people on behalf of their emperor, bread, and circuses. In those times, most men escaped the Colosseum's cage with their lives. Most men. All right, boys, what more can I say? It has been an amazing journey. 2024 has proven to be the year of the seed. Right now, I feel like everyone is getting planted and ready and um, we're getting some nutrients, man. We're getting nutrients from the sun. We're getting nutrients from the ground and we are beginning to sprout and bud into a giant mighty oak. The time has finally come, my boy, for new gladiator beast support. As we're rolling out 2025, we got some amazing plans and my team and I, my team and I, you know who you are, are getting things together to bring things to you in a way that it has never been done before on YouTube, in Yu-Gi-Oh space in general. Like I'm bringing something very new and unique. So get ready for that. Hit the subscribe button as I have been in the lab, but there's only one thing that can get me out of the lab, actually two things that can get me out of the lab and that's gladiator beast and the hazy flame. And well, one of those two things have come up brand new gladiator beast cards that to be very fair, they're good, man. They're really, really good. And if you didn't already know, my gladiator beast deck with the tri brigade with the help of mathematics probability and statistics and ai i was able to create a gladiator beast deck with a one card combo that is revolutionary now you need to understand these powers and i'm going to be bringing out some stuff that can help you to get it but right now konami has given us new cards and i just want to point out that my current tri brigade gladiator beast combination will only get stronger because these cards are so powerful that they actually synergize with these cards which is what i love that proves two things number one i already knew somebody at konami loved me i already knew somebody at konami was watching my every move i knew that when i went to that konami event and i shook their hands and they say we love yt dan and we love the innovation and we know you can cook and we love to see what you got going every time i ask for something every time i make a suggestion that shit pops up in one year. So next year, I'm looking for the uh, starters for the Hazy Flame deck. I'm looking for some new Hazy Flame starters. Konami, I know what you guys are doing back there. Give me my Hazy Flame in 2025. I gladly appreciate that. And then also, um, since you were listening, you've created these powerful cards directly on my suggestions. And I really, you know, again, if, if you heard it, and you made those suggestions based off of what I said, or you, or you, or you made those suggestions based off of what I put out in the ether. Who knows? But shout out to the boys for doing this. So let's look at this: the Supreme Darkness coming out October 26, twenty twenty four, which is also for the TCG January twenty twinety three. So that means January twenty twenty three, twenty twenty five. I'm not twenty twenty three. January twenty third, twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five is the year of the duelist, my boy. So I'm ready. So first off an amazing historical card right here flavius arena of the gladiator beast that is amazing so first off it says you can only use the effect one two or three uh once per turn which okay, okay first off i like the first line says this card's got three effects get ready <laughs> i like that okay so first effect compatible with the tri brigade absolutely love this you can discard one card and add a gladiator beast monster from your deck to the hand <laughs> all right so this card will help us get into our starter number two when an opponent's monster declares an attack you can special summon <laughs> a gladiator beast monster from your deck and if you do it cannot be destroyed by battle Okay, okay, okay. And this is during the end phase. If a gladiator beast monster was special summoned from the deck this turn, you can set a gladiator beast trap from your deck. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
basically this is very simple <laughs> this is very simple on turn one you can use the effect to discard a card from your hand to add a gladiator beast using a tri brigade card which will not only result in a break even on card advantage you'll receive a plus one if you threw away kit or nerval so then you're going to get your gladiator beast card which is going to allow you to set up your play but you already have a gladiator beast in hand that you were able to get and you have Karis. so right there you you're still on one card you're on one card right there you're still on one card special summon and go into your entire combo just off that so right here flavius arena arena of the gladiator beast is a one card combo going first or second so here's the busted thing shoe rig the ominous omen says when a beast beast warrior wing beast is special summoned banish a card so this plus shoe rig is a banish <laughs> when your opponent attacks this plus shoe rig is a banish excellent during the end phase if a gladiator beast monster is special summoned from the deck you can set a trap you already know gladiator beast got plenty of traps so um if this this card is gonna not if this card works really well in the retiar strategy that i've created where we utilize the battle phase to pop off our one card combo at the end of that one card combo we do everything i've ever shown you and there's going to be more now because of the new additions and then at the end of all that because we got the field spell up go ahead and set war chariot gladiators dueled in the coliseum's cage there is a metagame to these gladiators in their battles. The aristocrats, quote unquote, were just rich people who dueled humans like Pokemon. They fought humans like Pokemon. I told you about the gladiators and I shared with you their archetypes. I showed you this picture. But in the gladiator deck, the gladi my gladiator deck specifically does this, the red tiara strategy. Although the gladiators are, as you can see here, all these gladiators are represented in the gladiator beast. But my strategy, my one card combo is an actual historical tier one meta strategy of ancient Rome. It's incredible. It's, I mean, come on. This is what happens when your boy's unemployed for a year. I've got nothing, no time but to read, and you have no time but to listen. All right, let's get into this, man. Test bear. Okay, level four earth beast. <laughs> okay, level four earth beast. See, this is what happens when Andale loses his mind and gets down on all fours. See, Andale back in the day when he was standing up anthropomorphic with 1900 attack, that thousand attack came from suffrage. That thousand attack came through time and he lost the ability to be a starter. But in this version, back in time, back when the Flavian Coliseum was fully erected, guess what? test bear my boy you can special summon this card by its first effect once per turn you can only use its second effect once per turn but you can use the first effect more than once per turn okay <laughs> wait hold on a second am i tripping yeah you can only use its second effect once per turn yeah so if a gladiator beast monster is special summoned from the deck or extra deck, you can special summon this card from the hand. Disgusting. You can tribute this card and shuffle one gladiator beast monster from your hand or face up into the extra deck and special summon two gladiator beast monsters from your deck. This card <laughs> is rescue cat. This card is Rescue Rabbit for Gladiator Beast, and it can be special summoned. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> so you can only do the two Gladiator Beasts once per turn. And it's, look what it says. It says, if you control Gladiator Beast monster, especially on this card in your hand, you can tribute this card and shuffle one Gladiator Beast monster from your hand or face up on the field. And special summon two Gladiator Beast monsters from the deck. Two Gladiator Beast monsters from the deck. It doesn't have any restrictions on that. So that means this card is a one card tamer editor. 
<laughs> one card test panther this card can clean you up okay let's let's just keep going let's just keep going let's keep going <laughs> oh my god okay here we are gladiator beast magister okay now this is pretty much um if i'm if i'm not mistaken like this would be like the um like 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 he like he's a disciplinarian kind of person or kind of gladiator or whatever but i i, I may be i may be a little uh <laughs> mixed up on my gladiator lore but this is a level three earth beast <laughs> Well, level three earth beast. This is a level three earth beast. <sighs> it's a level three earth beast. It's so good. You can only use the first and second effect of this card once per turn. You can reveal this card and one glare beast monster in your hand to your opponent and special summon these two monsters. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster, you can add one Gladiator Beast spell or trap from your deck to the hand. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, 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 okay. At the end of the battle phase, if this, okay, the end of the battle phase in which this card is battle, this card has battle, you can return this card to the deck and special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck, except this card. Okay, it's Gladiator Beast effect. But this card being able to get a Glare Beast Speller Trap is insane. This this is really good because basically what it says is it can special summon a Glare Beast monster from your hand. And basically that's gonna activate the Gladiator Beast effect. So whoever you summon is gonna get their effect and this card's gonna add a Speller Trap. <laughs> this card is basically a uh, DD Griffin. Like it's crazy, this card is crazy. And then, and then let's just... <laughs> It's a level three earth beast. Okay. Now here it is, my boys. This is, I'm so happy to talk about this card. Gladiator Beast Claudius. Gladiator Beast Claudius. They put Claudius on. Level 12, Dark Beast Fusion. Ah, five Gladiator Beast monsters fits perfect in the Retiaria strategy. Must first be special summoned from the extra deck by shuffling all cards on the field and or graveyard into the extra deck. Robbie was talking about using cards like that. Grass looks greener. And, and you can forgive Robbie. He doesn't really know about the power of Gladiator Beast. I mean, sure, you could activate that Grass looks greener going second and your opponent, for some reason, has a clear wide open board. You banish 15, summon three of these and attack for game. Sure. Sure. You could do that. Sure. But... You're not gonna do that. What you're gonna do is execute that one card Gladiator Beast combo that I showed you, boy. You're gonna execute that combo. You're gonna have way more than enough to create this beast. But then on top of that, we need to talk about the effects. If this card is special summoned, you can conduct two battle phases. <laughs> okay, this card's... <laughs> You don't need two battle phases, but god damn, you could you could win a duel in two battle phases. You know what I'm saying? You summon this thing out, bam, 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 attack and clear all the monsters, then bam, 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 attack for game. This card is giving you an OTK option. So that's what this card is. This card is OTK potential. So Gladiator Beasts have a control. First, it was just control, go second, super strong, going second being able to to kind of scale and go you know second third fourth fifth turn and just kind of wear you out but now that is not the case now what we're doing is is basically blowing you out and if mathematically i come down to the numbers and i can't get you to zero with double battle phase you're not going to survive this domitianus hercules and whatever else i got plus the trap card i had set from the uh 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 the field spell and you had to fight caesar you had to fight gazarus so <laughs> once per turn if your opponent activates a monster effect you can activate this effect <laughs> based on whose turn it is if it's my turn special summon a gladiator beast monster from my deck and because it was special summoned by this card it was special summoned by a gladiator beast effect so it will activate or if your opponent's turn summon Herc, 
or Domitianus for free. <laughs> yes. Okay. <sighs> yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm. I received. I received these gladiator beasts in the name of Ra. Thank you. Your opponent special summons. Oh, sorry. I'm. I'm sorry. I just read that name. That thing again. Um, that was that. It. That's it. It is perfectly by by saying ignore the summoning condition. So you know. All right, now here we go. Link a two. Now they, ooh, they have to do it. They know they want Gladiator Bees back in the game. We got three deadly, absolutely broken Link twos. Test Panther, Dragasis, and now Darius. All right, here we go. Link two, Earth Beast Warrior. Beast Warrior. I love that. I love Beast Warrior. We got to be careful though, because when we're doing our Gladiator Beast combos, we got to keep in mind that we got Beast, Beast Warriors, Wing Beast on the field. We got to keep in mind like what we got on the field. It looks like this Darius has some of the Samorix power. It looks like he has like that same little um, circular arc with orbs in it behind his back, but I can't really tell what that is uh, fully. But I mean, it kind of looks like he has a bit of the Samorix power with the chain whip. So, you know, this guy, he's, he's definitely tuned up. You can only use the, use each effect once. You know, wait, you can only use one effect of this card's name once per turn. So if this card is Link Summon, activate this effect. Cannot be, or you cannot, blah. If this card is Link Summon, you can activate this effect. You cannot use monsters as Link materials for the rest of the turn except Gladiator Beast. Okay, they're trying to... Okay, so so they're saying like this card isn't... It's still competitive with the tri combo, but this has to be one of the last things you do if you plan on using tri cards as Link materials. So you can't... After you do this, you can't do your shoe rig combo. So, th so you have to do this second um, if you're going to do it but let's just keep reading uh for the rest of the turn uh also special summon one level four or lower gladiator beast monster from your hand or graveyard if your opponent controls a monster you can special summon one gladiator beast monster from your deck <laughs> okay definitely a go second card and then also the other effect says gladiator beast monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects during your opponent's battle phase Wow, so if you end with this card, your opponent can't kill anything by battle or card effect. And then if you have any of the other Gladiator Beast cards on the field, um, they have other effects that will prevent your opponent from doing things in the battle phase. So basically, they created with these retrains a an archetype that owns the battle phase. They own the battle phase. So I, I love that about this fully <laughs> this is amazing it's absolutely amazing all right my boys so that's it for now i just want to remind you to keep locked in on this channel if you want to learn about the gladiator beasts so far and learn about how strong they are and how the tribergate unlocks their combos pretty much by utilizing their abilities check out the link video check out the card check out the hypergeometric distribution video and also the never miss champions equation to find out how i was able to utilize ai and the book to create the ultimate gladiator beast deck before konami saw fit to provide support keep a lookout for your boy and as always keep it day Duelist AI, use your memories. Tell me about your initial report on my Gladiator Beast deck. In my initial report on your Gladiator Beast deck, I rated it at a 43% win rate against the current metagame. The Gladiator Beast deck has notable weaknesses against popular decks in the meta. For example, cards like Nibiru, the primal being can significantly disrupt Gladiator Beast plays by removing their monsters from the field. Decks that can negate monster effects or have high board wipe potential also pose serious threats. To improve the deck's win rate, consider enhancing its consistency, adding more protective and disruptive elements, and optimizing the card choices for the current metagame. A 43% win rate, huh? 
That's where you calibrate my power? Foolish AI, you need more training. The time has come for me to not only show the power of my deck, but also show my strength at the duelist. This time, I won't miss. <laughs>